Hey guys, Yardis here, and today we're gonna go over my Copper Short Sword Devourer of Gods Inferno Mode Kill Clear Thingy Mabob. What do you want to call it? <laughs> oh, you want to call it an Elysian Aegis kill? That's true. That you and I were both aware the Copper Short Sword does not damage. It does no damage. I think a true Copper Short Sword only damage source clear would probably take maybe maybe a day in real time. <laughs> Yeah, so today I just like to do that just farm some views because It's an easy er easier challenge that no one has really done yet and Yeah, it's it's nothing special. It's just Elysian Aegis only damage Of course if you use Omega blue, it's still technically copper short sword kill because copper short sword is the weapon you're holding and using <laughs> But Yardis, majority damage is from Omega Blue, so it's not Copper Sorcerer anymore. I mean, but like, if we look at it technically, we're holding the Copper Short Sword the entire time. You know? <laughs> yeah, so the first phase is super fucking boring. Like, beyond boring. So I was falling asleep half of the, half of the fight, which is what the first phase feels like, even though the majority is obviously the second phase. And yeah, um, I'm just gonna raw, unfiltered, scriptless yap over the fight. I'm just watching it back right now with you guys. <laughs> I recorded this originally for some footage for someone. And I said, you know, why don't I just kill him with the copper short sword? I need a long fight for footage. And no one has done copper short sword dog yet on YouTube, I don't think. I didn't look very hard, mind you, but you know? <laughs> It's, it's some easy eats for me, right? Aren't people interested in copper short sword content, kind of? It's a meme, but is it in high demand? Maybe? I mean, we can test the waters real quick with this. Old Duke copper short sword video didn't do the worst. <laughs> but who cares about Old Duke, right? So... Maybe this video will do okay. If we get to 1,000 likes... I'll kill him. I'll no hit this. I'll no hit the copper short sword Infernum Devour Gods. Like that'll 1k likes. <laughs> 1k likes. <laughs> that can't happen. <laughs> it's never happening on a Yardis video. <laughs> what? So yeah, finally the first phase is nearly done. I'm sorry for not being too great of a yapper today. I am a little tired. Well, I'm always a little tired. Am I not? <laughs> Yeah, it's nothing special, it's just a really long dogfight. Here we go, we're entering the second phase. And you might have noticed that there is a, what's it called? Keyboard overlay thing, that's again, for the footage thing. Testing it out, if you guys like it, I might include it in future videos or streams or content. Actually streams, it would be bad because we already have chat on screen. And if I have a face cam, chat, and an input overlay on, I feel like that would be way too cluttering on my screen. I don't know if you guys would like that, but I think majority of people are subway surfer, you know, they need that truck driving thing in, in, in you know, the corner of videos to keep them entertained. <laughs> so maybe more, maybe there's more people than I think that like that kind of overstimulation. Because right now you got so many things to look at. You can look at me, you can look at the input overlay, you can look at the gameplay, you can look at my items, you can look at the HP bar, my HP bar, the mini map, the DPS fluctuation, my adrenaline charging, my rage charging. There's so much stuff to look at already. Do we need chat as well? Of course, it's always fun to see yourself in chat, right? But. <laughs> And yeah, oh my goodness, we're, we're only like four minutes in. I can't keep yapping like this. Do I got any stories to tell? I mean, that, that guy just bugged. He just popped. <laughs> I, I, that always bothers me when, when he's like transitioning phases and he just randomly just vanishes instead of properly phasing in and out. I don't know. Maybe just my own pet peeve. Yeah, so maybe I can talk about my first experience with this guy because I'm pretty good with Infirm Dog now. I've no hit him in a very unconventional way. I've killed him in double speed and 
Now we're having a long copper short sword fight. Again, I know it's Elysian I guess it's okay, you know? Look, I'm holding the copper short sword now. You can't tell me otherwise. If you look at the top left of my screen, it says legendary copper short sword. And it doesn't change the duration of the fight. I'm just saying, it's still a copper short sword kill, okay? <laughs> of course, I could have used ornate shield. I could have used Asgardian... A, a, no? Asgard's Valor, sorry. Asgardian Aegis is the final ram dash. I could have used the Deep Diver. I could have used weaker dashes. But look, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough for that. <laughs> I think a fight without Elysian Aegis damage would be like at least three hours long. And if you look at the input overlay, I think, I think my hands would be completely demolished to even do like a 30 minute fight. So, you know, uh, uh, you feel me? Also, I'm not sure if I accidentally skipped forward or not. No, I didn't. <laughs> if I did, it didn't make the footage and my face cam and whatever not line up properly. Also, I need a haircut. I swear my, like I have it tied up. Let's, let's ignore that. It's a mess right now. I'm not gonna, it's a really bad. We're not gonna talk about it, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if, not looking my, if I'm not looking my best right now, I just don't care. <laughs> I do need a haircut now though. It's it's hot as hell where I live. My sideburns are getting in my ears. Ah, whatever. Maybe I'll go bald? Should I go bald? Nah, I'm not gonna go bald. I've been bald twice in my life. Like, buzz cut, skin, number zero razor. I can't say my skull looks very good. You know? Right. I think most people, well, mostly men, I feel like women shouldn't really have to. Try going bald for a bit. I think it, uh, it's kind of liberating. <laughs> of course, women can too, but uh, it's a different kind of look. I think it suits. I mean, it just depends on the person, right? There are good looking bald women. Uh, do you guys know the Apex Legends Wraith skin? The bald Wraith? It looks pretty good. But I think if we're talking just generally, I'm mainly just talking about guys. Because it's easier for guys. Um, mo the most part, because we can really, society lets us have freedom with our hair. Women, some people might give you odd looks if you're bald. I wouldn't personally. I think bald is, looks can look good on anyone. But oh yeah, I'm so bad. I was typing during this fight, right? Yeah. I was getting tilted. I was getting real tilted at this fight. <laughs> I, I just was getting bothered. I, I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, I could maybe no hit this, right? But then I kept doing the worst mistakes of my life over and over and over. Just ruining the footage. Like, pff, like this whole time I'm trying to be stylish, right? That's like the Yardis brand in terms of gameplay. When I'm not streaming. When I'm streaming, I play Dog Doo Doo. We know that. We know that. Fraudis, he's real. Sorry for the burp. I excuse myself. Yeah, so... <laughs> uh... Man, dude, <laughs> how much more can he have? Over oh, at 43%. Okay, bear with me. If you can stay the whole duration of the video, thank you. Maybe this can like quell that that uh, Yardis stream drought for you. Um, I'm sure some people are feeling some withdrawals. Maybe like one or two out of like the hundred or so total unique viewers I've had on a stream. Maybe there's one or two of you that are, are missing my, my yapping. So here we are. Pure, unadulterated, just scripless, whip out the video, start talking. That's what we're doing right now. <laughs> it's gonna be low quality. The talking is very low quality, I'm sorry. But yeah, here we are. Um, I firm devoured gods with a copper short sword. Flesh totem crutch, actually. I got hit, I misinputted there and got demolished. If you make one mistake in Infernum Devour Gods, you will die usually. But uh, part of the video is to shill the Flesh Totem. The Flesh Totem is without a doubt the best defensive accessory versus Infernum Devour Gods. And what it does is, you know, halves contact damage every 20 seconds for one hit. It's really freaking good. It just means, oh, his head won't one shot you anymore. Of course, if you're playing melee and you have multiple defensive accessories with warding, I think you can already tank a hit. But in this video, I have full damage on, 
not a single piece of warning. Um, and yeah, multiple alcohols. And, you know, I can eat hits from his head now. And there's a little bit of lag there. A little bothersome. When you lag during any, like, high... High, what? Precise movement? Require <laughs> attacks? I could talk, I swear I could talk. It's over for you. Laser walls, when you're lagging, it sucks. Especially when you're not using Witch's Broom. Um, which I recommend you do, don't be like me and jump the lasers. Of course, if you want to look cool, it looks cooler. So, oh, there's another misinput. And if you see the way I'm dashing, I'm dash canceling the whole time. I'm holding the opposite direction of the dash. If I'm dashing left, I hold D. Yeah, because D is right. It shortens the dash, which lets you dash again sooner. And you don't have to do it, really. I just like to do it because it looks cooler. <laughs> um, and it's more consistent if you're good at it. If you don't dash cancel, um, your dash might not come up in time and you might get eaten by dog. Yeah, and we're almost there. This is the hardest phase by far. I This actually took me like three or four attempts only. Because, well... I'm pretty okay at the fight. I died three times at that, at this attack, at those attacks. Because if you get unlucky with his spawn and you get caught off guard, he can just spawn the fireballs in your crevices. And it don't feel so good, right? It don't feel so good. Like, there, that's just a misplay. Because, well, I think this is the, just the hardest part for the most part. Um, I mean, if you just count to five, he dashes five times before coming out. He'll probably be fine, but again, if you get unlucky, he can get some fireballs deep inside of you. It don't feel very good, you feel me? Like, the rest of the fight is very consistent. I think laser walls are easy. Um, but this, the fireball dash portal thingy... Uh, I feel like that's where m most people get caught. If it's not by the head, at least. But, with Flesh Totem... You know... We got a fat-ass crutch. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I'm using it. Because I'm not good enough yet to no hit. Again, though, 1k likes. I'll probably try to stream Copper Short Sword, you know, Dev Devour Gods. No hit. And if it's not a no hit, maybe I'll try Ornate Shield, Devour Gods, Copper Short Sword. Three hour long fight. <laughs> no. Not actually. I'm joking. That sounds fucking terrible. The no hit, though, maybe. I think I can maybe do a 15 minute long no hit. I'll resubmit it to the no hit court and everything. Make fucking someone re make a judge watch it. <laughs> uh, am I allowed to do that? I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that. I might. I might. If I go through if this video somehow gets 1k, which it won't. I'll make sure it won't by making sure the video isn't perfect. Because by now, there's probably no one watching anymore. <laughs> Who the hell fucking watches a whole 14 minute video of some dog shit ass gameplay and some Asian man yapping in the corner? If that's you, let me know. Comment something. Comment, I love fanboys, okay? With a biting nails emoji, if you know what that is. If not, you can do the flushed emoji or sunglasses emoji. That'd be great as well. And with that, we did it. And yeah, I almost died at the end. The Icarus inside of me. The Icarus. My inner Icarus. There we go. Jesus Christ. Said, you know, I should probably try to shill Flesh Totem once more. One more time before we win. And that's what I tried to do. Luckily, we, su we succeeded. Because, oh my god, that phase 2 head from the portal dash. That shit hurts, bruh. And then, also, yeah. Of course, Elise and Aegis did most of the damage. Well, you know, I also try to what fight through on Omega Blue. The fight is like three minutes now. <laughs> I'll throw up like a little card, fast forward footage playing right now, because I'm sure most of you don't care about the gear or the mod list or whatever else. And yeah, I don't know. That's all for me, right? <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, the very high effort video, huh? <laughs> well, the gameplay is high effort, kind of. I mean, yeah, I spent about two hours, maybe, one hour. How long are attempts again? Attempts are 10 minutes. 
It's more like about an hour, because I had to prepare, get gear. Yeah, an hour of this, and then me yapping over the footage. It's like a two hour video, okay? Catch you guys later, and thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I love you. Thank you. Like, you're kind of weird though, because this is not a good video. <laughs> uh.